Welcome back to Watch Collecting Strategy. Today's episode, we've got another special timepiece to showcase that deserves more attention than it usually gets. Before we get into it, allow me to do a quick plug to my store, TickingWay.com. We're constantly curating watches from collectors and we have an incredible selection, so make sure you check it out, www.TickingWay.com. Today, we're taking a look at another collector's best kept secret, the Maurice Grossman Hamatic. At first glance, we get a remarkably handsome and somewhat reserved dial. So to truly understand why this is considered a CBKS, let us have our dessert first by flipping the watch over. A brief history about the brand, Carl Maurice Grossman began his education in watchmaking from 1842 to 1854. In 1854 is when the watchmaker established his atelier in Glasuta. Since then, there has been many significant contributions to the watchmaking industry, but it wasn't until 2010 when we saw the first watch model of the new era. The first watch was developed at Maurice Grossman was the Benu. And since then, the quality of the timepiece and the high level finishing made it clear that this brand was going to be something very special. Back to the Hamatic. This watch features a 41mm white gold case by 11.35 height, allowing this watch to fit beautifully on my 6.5 inch wrist. Taking a closer look at the dial, this is a limited edition of 8 pieces. The dial features a solid silver with engraved numerals and handcrafted silver plating by friction, creating a fine-grained velvet-like surface and it reflects most light without causing glare. Look closer. You'll notice razor-thin hands treated with a precise heating process to achieve a beautiful purple color. Flipping the watch over, we're greeted with the highly finished and unusual manufacturer caliber 106.0 an automatic winding movement with an oscillating hammer, bi-directional click wheels, and a manual yoke winder. Another signature of German watchmaking is the golden hue, thanks to the German silver. German silver is a mixture of copper, nickel, and zinc, similar to what we see from brands like Alang & Zuna. Finished with frosted bridges and plates, giving it an even better visual appeal to what is possibly already one of the most beautiful automatic movements in the world. You'll also notice beautiful jewels set with traditional chetons, as well as purple heated screws as finishing touches. I personally wouldn't hesitate to wear this watch upside down, it is that beautiful. Finally, this movement features 72 hours of power reserve. Needless to say, this is a true CBKS. The attention to detail, high level finishing and timeless design allows this to be a pillar in any collection. The movement is one of the most beautiful automatic calibers that even though it has a classic design and can be viewed as simple at times, every time the lucky owner flips the watch over, it will always leave the collector in awe. A true work of art. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any watches you'd like to see reviewed on the channel, make sure you check out tickingway.com. If you see anything over there you want to see reviewed, let me know in the comment section below or you could email me directly at ab at tickingway.com. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.